Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and I'm here to help you start a build your Dragon Ball collection. So be sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Today we will be looking at the Dragon Ball Gauss Videl, the Kaifuku or the recovery version from Mega House. She was released on October 26, 2018, and I got her from AmiAmi.com. If they still have her available for sale, I'll provide a link in the description box below, as well as other places that sell this figure. Before we get to the figure, let's take a quick look at the box first, something I always like to do. Here's the front. Here's one side. The back. The other side. The bottom. The top. And here is the Toei Animation sticker, which lets you know this figure is run out of bootleg. See, you thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? <laughs> Alrighty then, here she is out of the box, and she comes whole, and she stands at 8 inches. Nice size figure. This is called the Recovery version, because this is after her brutal battle with Spopovich in the World Martial Arts Tournament in Dragon Ball Z. She is enhanced like the other figures in this line, minus the Kid Chi Chi. Yet she does not have a provocative pose. So that's a very big plus for those who don't like those provocative posed figures. But if you do like the ones that are posed that are posed provocative. This video is supported by Dragon Ball Z Coalition an awesome Facebook group where Dragon Ball fans and collectors can come together to share and help each other grow their collection. A link can be found in the description box below as well as the comment section. Become a member today and start sharing your collection. She was sculpted by Kami Naga Ryutaru, and Ando Kenji provided the coloring for this figure. Kami Naga captured her likeness very well. Looks almost exactly like her anime counterpart. One problem though, she don't have any teeth. It's kind of creepy. I love the coloring on this figure. I like that Ando Kenji chose vibrant colors for the yellow on the boots and the purple on the socks and shirt. And he did a great job on the shading. Got some shading on the shirt, uh, the back of her knees, on her elbows, on the reverse side of her elbows, and in between her fingers. All of it done very subtly. I like that he didn't have too dark of gray on the shirt because a lot of Manpresto figures do that. So then the shirt looks more gray than white. So kudos to Ando Kenji. If you enjoy this video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and your opinions on it. And if you don't have this figure, based on what you've seen, let me know your thoughts and opinions as well. And if you would like this figure, then check the description box below. I'll provide links to places that sell this figure. She was quite expensive, around 80 to 100 bucks, but I'll try to find it for the best price possible. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.